Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so it's been three months and, uh, since I did a video like uh, this. So we will take a look at my favorite photos from the last three months. So that's January, February and March. So let's take a look at the first image. The first image is uh, this one. It's uh, from a place called Javsö here in Sweden and it's on uh, a random skier in the sunrise. So here I am at the top. It was minus 22 degrees, really, really cold. And I just got a glimpse of this skier that was preparing to go down the slope. And the sunrise was just absolutely beautiful and I thought this uh, would be a great picture to have. It's not the best image. Uh, I cut off the poles and some of the skis uh, on the skier and that's not really desirable. I think, uh, but I like that I have the sun in the background Then we have some uh, distance in the middle and then we have the skier in the foreground and I think that creates some depth in the image. It could have been better uh, I think uh, but it's an yeah it's an okay image but it um, it reminds me of a great moment I had uh, at the top of that mountain. The second image is uh, this one and here we have Five skiers. Uh, we have four skiers that are facing each other and they are standing crisscross. Uh, and I really like that. I think it creates a kind of a interesting composition. I wish the fifth skier on the left side wouldn't be in the frame. I don't really think he adds something to the image. And I wish the background on the image. Uh, would have been more interesting but it's an okay image but the main thing that I really like about this image is the skiers that are facing each other I think that's kind of an interesting element the third image is uh, this one and I don't think this is an <laughs> great image really uh, but I think it it creates an interesting layering in this image. So this is a self portrait, you can call it. And I'm shooting into a mirror that reflects back, of course. Then you see the mirror, then you see me, then you see the wall behind me. And there you have a window that is showcasing a stair. So I think we have like four layers to this image and that creates a depth uh, to the image. It could have been more interesting if we had someone walking in the staircase in the background. Unfortunately, we don't have that in this image. But I think the main thing in this image is just the, uh, the concept of layering and the depth that uh, that is creating. Uh, so overall, it's not a great image, but I think the layering effect here is uh, really interesting. So the next image is uh, this one and if we look back at the other images that I've shown all those images have been shot at eye level and I think if you want to create uh, compelling images shooting at eye level is not ideal um, you want to move your camera uh, up or down or yeah, move yourself in different uh, directions and in this image that is exactly what I have done. I have used the Ricoh GFE's uh, macro mode and then I have gotten down to the flowers uh, to really get like into the flower and I think that creates an interesting uh, perspective and this image I really like. I think it's um, yeah, it's an interesting image because you get really close to the image and a little close to the flower and it feels like you are in the flower. 
So the next image is also an image uh, that I really like and once again I have used Rico GRP's macro mode and I have gotten really close to this subject. And I think uh, that is what makes uh, this an interesting image because you can't really um, tell what, what, uh, what the subject is that I'm shooting and I think that creates an interesting element uh, to uh, this uh, image. The next image uh, is an image of my two cats and once again here I have gotten uh, down to the cats uh, level and here once again we have used uh, the front cat and the cat in the background to create some depth uh, in uh, the image and I think it works uh, really well and yeah I always like images uh, of my cats I think they are great subjects and the last image uh, here once again it's one of my cats and here the subject really is the light that hits her face and I think that creates a uh, really interesting image where, where you see just the light on her face and everything else in, is in uh, shadow and uh, yeah I think that just creates a really interesting image. So that was the images for January, February and March. Uh, I hope you have picked up uh, some tips that I have uh, talked about. And hopefully it will not be three months again until I do a video like uh, this. So uh, yeah, that's it for uh, this uh, video. I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.